How much longer will Timothy Bradley keep calling Ali Khanola's bolo punches uppercuts? I guess we'll see. Now, some of those really are uppercuts, but I think his favorite, most effective perhaps, finishing punch or the beginning of the end punch is that bolo. Step back, step back in. Bolo punch from range. So what's the difference between a bolo and an uppercut? Not a lot of difference. An uppercut is more of a mid-range inside punch um, that comes more down the middle. And a bolo is... It's like an uppercut, but it's more generally thrown from range. And it's more of a swing... It's as if you were swinging a machete to cut down sugarcane. I think that's where it comes from. Shout out to the Philippines and Cuba. So why am I not talking much about this fight? Well, because it wasn't much of a fight. But Alim Kanola still, in my view, remains a pound-for-pound pound fighter. Right, The way I do, the way pound-for-pound pound should be done used to be done, in my opinion, is uh, you just look at the fighter's skill and you make that call, right? And then they prove you're right or wrong. That's the whole fun, right? It's no... <laughs> Where's the challenge in looking at box rec and skin color and saying, this is the pound for pound guy. Where, where's the challenge in that? Right? That's boring. That's just fanboyism, right? Tell me... What I don't know right now, right? Or show us that maybe you don't know shit about boxing. I've been bright before a few times. I've been wrong. It is what it is. I just I just look at the guy and I see pound for pound level skill. And I think he just needs the fights to prove it. Now, he reminds me, for my I guess obvious reasons, very much of... Golovkin before Abel Sanchez where he became, you know, almost exclusively a come forward destroyer. He boxed very much like um, Alim Kanala does now. Obviously, Kanala is a southpaw. I would say Golovkin was technically better. I mean, it sh showed me more, at least at that point of his career, right? There could be more to Alim Kanola. You just got to give him the fights, right? And then he'll show us more, I think. I think there's more there. I would say uh, Golovkin hit a little bit harder, but uh, let's wait and see. You know what I mean? Let's wait and see. I would say right at this point in time i would give golovkin the benefit of the doubt when it came to chin simply because that's one of the better chins you'll ever see it doesn't really get better than that does it but i mean let's wait and see right and this is just the thing with alim kanala Let, let's wait and see but i mean i really at this point in time i see a southpaw young golovkin basically you know what i mean slightly different arsenal Different tricks up his sleeve, but you know, maybe just as good. <coughs> anyway, Gualtieri, he wasn't there to win. I mean, there were instances when he tried, but soon as, as soon as he tried a little bit of something, he was getting countered. Right? Just the thing about Alim Kanola and one advantage he has over Golovkin is just his quickness. The hand speed's good. Both of them had, uh, I think the hand speed is actually comparable to a prime young Golovkin, but Alim Kanola is just quicker, right? Uh, he's more reactive than, than Golovkin, and he just got those fast twitch reactions. And boy, is he quick. And he's also, like Golovkin, a very quick thinker. I would say probably a quicker think than Golovkin. Or it looks quicker. He just, he sees the openings 
um, and is able to react to them quicker than Golovkin did. And that's probably why people don't want to open up in front of him. Whereas with Golovkin, this whole idea was, oh, he's slow, right? Which is bullshit. Oh, he has no defense, which is bullshit. And he did things to make you open up so he would punch with you because that'd be his advantage. And Alim Kanala is that also, right? Although he's more of a... Both of them were counter punchers, right? They both could fight any style, really. Golovkin or Johnny Beck. But as it's playing out right now, right? Alim Kanala is more of a counter puncher than Golovkin was. Um, and I, it looks to me like he really wants to be an aggressive counter puncher. But it's not quite there. I think he's more of a defensive counterpuncher. More of a passive counterpuncher. He he can counterpunch aggressively, but he's so quick, so good, and so sharp with his punches, and the angles are just weird. The guys just don't open up, right? So... I suppose he could that's that's one thing I think he needs to learn to, just to be more exciting and get more people behind him is learn how to be more of an aggressive counterpuncher, right? Take some risks, take some chances, um open these guys up a little bit and get them out of there more emphatically instead of just having them quit. Um so you know, the fight was pretty boring, I guess. It was... It's... Interesting. He's an interesting fighter, and I enjoyed watching him do his craft, but... The guy just wasn't there to do anything. I mean... The first few rounds were a feel-out round, and the guy quickly realized he couldn't do anything, so he switched southpaw, and Johnny Beck loves fighting southpaw. So as soon as he did, you saw a better jab from Johnny Beck, and you saw him being... A little bit more aggressive and just throwing more punches. He really likes fighting southpaws, right? Dimitri's Andre. You little bitch. <laughs> anyway, um, so then Gualtieri realized that that was a mistake, right? He couldn't be himself and turn back to Orthodox, which wasn't working in the first place anyway, and just pooped his pants and quit. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy's for real. There's still some questions, right? How is, how is his chin, right? Does he like it to the body? Like, you know, we all know American fighters love it to the body, right? So we just got to wait and see if he loves it to the body as much as, you know, the Keith Thurmans of the world and so on and so forth so yeah i mean the pound for pound skill is definitely there but is he really a complete fighter right there's there's a couple of boxes that i think we still need to check and hopefully we get to uh, see if we can in the next couple of fights but division's looking like uh i don't know the whole division needs a rebuilding process, I guess. So we'll see what happens. Um, I guess he's calling out Canelo or whatever. Cloud chasing mostly. It is what it is. He schools Canelo. At this point, he schools Canelo. It's not. It's embarrassing, right? Or Canelo pays him off and all of a sudden we have, you know, I mean, Canelo is flat, right? <laughs> the <laughs> the 5'11 guy that started at a higher weight than Canelo is all of a sudden too small, right? Versus the 5'8", 175-pound soaking wet Canelo. <clears throat> Give me a break. Um, yeah. Look at look at Tommy Fury, for example, right? Yeah, he was making weight for that fight. And I didn't watch the fight. I just saw a video of him giving an interview. It was clear that he was making weight for the fight, right? But look at how huge them dudes look, and they're weighing in at 181 or something like that, right? 
and maybe he's 190, right? Then Canelo's that guy's size. Get the fuck out of here. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.